So now we finished the Day 419 series. As those of you who have now seen it can tell, Jin has had to really re-examine the way she sees the world. She's been a survivor. She's been able to stay alive, but she spent so much time questioning why she's alive. She spent so much time feeling like she should have died. And in that process, she has holed herself up and kept herself from helping other people. And now she starts to see, you know what? She has been hurt. Yeah, some bad things have happened to her. Um, really, really rough things, actually. But there comes a point where, no matter how much we've all gone through, we either have to decide that we're going to stay in that place, trying to protect ourselves, and in truth being more and more miserable and despondent, or we have to go out there and give something to other people. And in the midst of it, she was able to remember some things that Gavin had told her. Now, one thing we explore later is the fact that Jenna has close to a photographic memory. Um, but she hadn't remembered most of Gavin's message. She had heard the parts that fueled her own self-hatred and self-loathing. In the days to come, she remembered him saying, You betrayed me. And she didn't remember the other elements that were in there. And we get more into that down the road. But she starts to see that her mentor understood that she had a purpose. Maybe there was a reason she didn't die, even if she feels she was supposed to. Maybe those things that we consider our greatest weaknesses and hindrances might not be the things that keep us from doing what we need to do. Perhaps they are the things that make us more able to do what is needed. And so she is finally coming to that realization herself and realizing that she can't lump everyone in with all the people who've hurt her. So now we open a new door. And for those of you who have discovered the epilogue, um, you've got a chance to see a little bit more of what she does with that information. And you've also gotten a chance to see a few of the characters from the feature. And what are they like? We've also gotten a chance to see a different perspective on everything. So hopefully at the end of the day, there's been a lot of cool stuff that you guys have been able to unpack. Um, I think I mentioned in the last podcast that uh, if you go ahead and get the DVD, um, you're going to get a chance to get some pretty cool things, including an extra Easter egg, which will give you even more information. Um about certain things that are coming down the road. And uh, you'll also, for those of you who found it difficult to decode some of the audio codes that were present in Day 419, the most prominent one we've simplified for you on the DVD. Just a little nice thing for our fans. So again, we thank you for being with us and watching the Day 419 saga. I encourage you to go out and check out Forsaken. Uh, if you haven't watched it already, Ben Nash's uh, film within the depleted world. And check out some of the different novellas that are currently up in our contributor section. We are going to be having a, uh, a redesign where we're going to have all of our content in a central showcasing location. Because the contributor site is becoming more community for the creative people who want to get involved in this world. The main world of Depleted site has a lot of the news of what's going on. Um, and for contributors, you're going to be excited to know, we're going to start doing information about some of the different factions. We're going to be trying to get that out so it's on a weekly basis, where you can learn about the Reapers and all these different folks, like uh, the Order of the Steel Rood and the, uh, the Bloodborne and uh, the Knights of Zeno and, and the Dark Dreamers. So, um, if you're new to some of these things, would like to learn more about it, you know, come on, be, enjoy this world with us. It's a dark world, it's confusing, and sometimes it's terrifying, because there are a lot of realistic elements that are a part of it. But there's a reason every culture in the world has been fascinated by the end of the world. 
because how can you know about yourself if you've never truly faced what you're scared of? Love that quote from Fight Club. How do you know about yourself if you've never been in a fight? And there's some real truth to that. So, uh, anyway, thank you for enjoying the film. Um, a big shout out to all the people who were so integral in making this film. Um, again, if you read through the credits, we hope you do because there are just so many people. We couldn't have done this without them. And uh, so, again, a special shout out there. And a special shout of love out to Norm and his family. Um, he unfortunately, did, he was our gaffing individual, that's the lighting person, and he was killed in a car wreck shortly after we finished wrapping um, Day 419. And, you know, we just have a lot of love for he and his family, and uh, just a special shout out to them. So, thanks as always for being a part of this. And uh, we encourage you to explore what other things you may be fascinated in the world of depleted.